Hello, welcome back. We are going to Aldi. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna cross some things off our list and we're gonna do some shopping. So let's go. Cecily, come on, we gotta go inside. What are you getting? But what it, okay, let me hold your cans. All right, you have your journal. Ooh, these are very pretty colors. Ready, want me to help you get down? You like these colors? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, we have our bags. We have Hannah, Claudia, Joy, Victoria, and Cecilia today. Leaving some of the kids at home because I can take the they just went to Costco. <laughs> no, we're at Aldi, so can't blame them. But here we go, going to Aldi's. Are you going to Aldi's with Mama today? We are. We're gonna go see what we can find, and I'm sure we'll find all the things that we need because we always do. Let's see how many things we can get today. We're gonna save some money. Okay, we're gonna start by the finds over here, and it looks like they have a lot of like workout gear going on. Too bad Julia is not here today. So they have like posture trainer. Ooh, what is that? Small size. Let's see. Discreet, comfortable design can be worn under or under clothing. Help improve posture and body awareness can be used in everyday life or workplace or playing sports, adjustable belt. That's pretty cool if you're trying to work on your posture. And this looks like it's a hand grip. Ooh, it's a hand grip strengthener. That's pretty cool for $5. That is really nice, I might get this. So it improves uh, your grip strength, strengthens your forearms. Ooh, fish at strength training from 11 to 44 pounds. Practical and handy design, I like that. I think I'm actually gonna get the hand grip. Oh, what else do they have back here? Wait a second, there's more. There's more back here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pick up these ankle wrist weights and I'm gonna pick up the hand gripper as well. Do you wanna pick up the hand gripper for me? We'll get both of those. They'll both be used in the house, I know they will. So they have the five level resistant tube set. I'm actually gonna grab that as well. Um, different levels for different strength. Hello, la <gasps> absolutely. You can absolutely get that, yes. Let me see, let's show everyone. What did you find? <gasps> How adorable is that? And they have a kitty one. Do you guys see the kitty one over there too? <laughs> yes. Can I buy it? Yes, we're gonna buy that. I was gonna buy that anyways. Go look for Halloween socks, right Cece? What are you drawing? Oh, it's a cute little picture of Minnie. Who drew that for you? I did? Oh, I don't remember doing that. We found the Halloween socks. We picked out a few that we liked. So they have this blue autumn leaves with a red autumn leaves. Oh, there's animals on it, like rabbits yeah. and squirrels. That's cute. Black with green cobweb. Black and gray stripe with pumpkin. Gray with like ghosts and back. And then they have this black solid with- And it has. Oh, there's face. an orange pumpkin face. Uh, Like a gray with green leaves. And then on the other side, oh, one-handed. Hold on. And the other side, autumn leaves. I'm gonna get those, I like those. And then they have the pumpkin latte with leaves and pumpkins, what? What is it? It's a Lego polar bear. It's, we should, mom said we can buy it. Put in the cart then, we can buy it. These are, are they, but they're not by Oreos, they're by Benton's? Wait, what about the ingredients? Sugar and rich flour, vegetable oil, oh, palm oil, oil, canola oil, never mind. Well, they weren't by out Oreo, so I was really curious what they could have had in there. Well, what did you find? This mom wants to buy all this like workout stuff. Which is workout nice. gear, that's fun. You know, I saw and those. those are super I cute. like the ones with the... Uh, then get the pumpkin one. And then Cecilia, they also have a Halloween Lego set. It has flash dogs. Yeah, those are for your puppies. But they have this, look at they have a black cat and a mouse and a pumpkin patch. Aww. And then they also have like a polar that. bear. I like that. Oh, you got that one. <gasps> Mugs. What does it say? Witch's brew. Oh, I like the pumpkin ones back here. Can you, you have the other one, remember? Which one's that? I don't smell anything. That smells super sweet. Which one's that? I don't know. I can't really smell anything. It smells almost like berries. So she's looking. I like the pumpkin mug in the back. Those are cute. They're cute. Hocus Pocus. I need to focus. That's funny. I like that. Is it a pineapple? Yeah. My gosh, you could be a pineapple. Hello there. Skeleton just called me Mr. Bones. When you say Mr. Bones, I think of uh, White Christmas. Mr. Bones, how do you feel, Mr. Bones? 
Mr. Bone. Oh, look at they have a band folding fitness mat. Fitness. I use my, my yoga mat. And this is $19.99 for that. $9.99 for support bra coverage. Up here they've got looks like a maybe a workout backpack. $10. That's actually super cute. You have the turquoise, gray. Really love this pink. That's super pretty. And then they have my girls for Christmas. I probably love this. And they have the black. And down here they have the 12 pound kettlebell for $14.99. Nope, this is too heavy for you. I'm not sure picking that up. Isn't that heavy? Yeah. Ah, put that down. And let's see, they have yoga pants for $12.99. Yes, my love. What did you find? Is that an umbrella just for your size? I do like that umbrella. You want to buy the umbrella for $4.99? I'm going to get this ladies' fitness pullover. Isn't that cute? I do like that one. You found a socks. You did? Let's see the socks. And how much are the socks? Look at we'll go down there, but we're gonna talk about socks. We're kind of all over the place. So oh, the, those are adorable. The gray with like a black These are men, six through twelve. And then they have black. With How black fun! Black face. Because I'm looking at doing boo baskets for the kids, but I'm yeah. gonna do them early because it's gonna be filled with like trick or treating stuff. Love it, love it. Okay, we're gonna turn back over here. Will you guys use this if I buy this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kettlebell it is. So we already have lots of finds no food we do that when we come here though it's like the first thing we see is all the new aldi finds it's a pop-up trash can oh that's weird that is weird but someone might love that two pack seat gap storage oh okay there's gaps in between the seats and then you can just pick a little storage compartments there that is 6.99 up here for 19.99 is a qi wireless car charger my husband was here we'd probably be buying this because he likes gadgets fast charging and it's wireless i have to show my husband this picture i don't think we need it but you may want something like that for the car what else is over here they have walking shoes with memory foam for $12.99 pedal exerciser that is going to be $24.99 so a lot of workout stuff going on here which is so great you guys, look at these. These are called leaf scoopers. And you put these in your hand, like flippers, and you scoop your leaves up. That's weird. Like, would you use that? Like, would you? If we had it, it'd be crazy, like. You feel like you're gonna go scuba diving? Yeah. Except you put those on your feet. I thought it was funny. I thought I'd share that with you. Up here, we have a four outlet cord reel. Again, my husband probably would buy that because it's a gadget. He does not here today. There's a lot of guy stuff. <laughs> We need to feel your toe. It might be really big on you. Because the top looks really big. That looks really big. We need to go a big. size down. And do you notice that it's purple? <laughs> She's like, I want the purple one. I want the purple. I want one. the purple square. Purple's pretty. Purple? Yes, the purple one. I want them to be purple. Ooh. That looks better. Much better for you. Do you like those? Should we get those? Because your boots right now, your rain boots are kind of, they kind of need to go. Well, should we buy a pair for Sophia too? We'll get Sophia the bigger ones. Well, you're gonna get the purple one. Should I get Sophia a different kind or should we get her purple? Okay, we'll get her purple. So we need two purples. Grab the boots. We're gonna grab a second pair for Sophia. Christmas is gonna be done, man. Here we are, Christmas everywhere. Look at all the stuff we got already. So I want to show you that the colors in here are. They're not artificial, and it does say no artificial flavors. I just wish it was organic. Um, you can see the colors are just tomato powder, black carrot powder, and that's it. Contains wheat. I do wish these were organic. I probably would have bought them if they were. Lots and lots of candy. And we have. Not sure what we're doing. We're pouring detergent into the bucket of Snickers. Okay. And then they have a whole side. For all the things they've had over the previous weeks whatever is left in stock which is really nice i think you can still come to aldi and find things that were from last week or the week before because i've seen these a couple weeks ago they still have some finds from their german week we still haven't tried the maple syrup but we're gonna still try that i will let you know what we think these were excellent really excellent and i didn't buy the bread I don't remember seeing the pumpernickel. I just bought some pumpernickel bread 
from the German store in the city. Oat fiber malt extract and then yeast. So I'm sure it's delicious. And we're noticing that they do have the pumpkin. I don't know if they have the butternut squash, but they do have the pumpkin chipotle. Lots and lots of those. Lots and lots. Oh, they do have the butternut squash. You guys, should we get the butternut squash again? Yeah, that was really good. Okay, so there's one. So let's get four of them. I think you just kind of have to dig. Yep. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. No one just wants to try the chipotle, even one of them? No. Okay. Butternut squash. Perfect. How are we doing? Your bag looks full. She's putting all kinds of stuff. I'm putting anything else. I'm hiding stuff. Okay, and then they still have things like all the apple treats. We haven't even tried this yet, but we're going to try this one too. There is Mario on those Oreo cookies. I see that. Nope, we don't need those. Not this week. So lots of Aldi finds. But I didn't buy anything that we actually weren't looking at already previously. And they, they weren't things I wasn't already thinking about getting. So that's one thing about me. I will not buy things I don't need or we won't use because that's just a waste of money. I'm pretty good without impulse buying, except when it comes to holiday things. What are you finding? Oh, you definitely don't need those, baby. We need them. We need them? Okay, I don't know, we need them. Oh, how sweet, Jankle Lantern Pop. Those are very cute. Apple strudel. These are $3.29 for the strudels. They also have like a Fruits of the Forest strudel. Yes, apple pie, pumpkin latte. We're gonna close this up, watch your little fingers. Down over here, we've got apple blossoms. I wish there wasn't so much in here. I don't even have to pick it up, I already know. But they look good, $3.29. They have sweet little Halloween pumpkin shaped pizzas and they have ghost pizzas and these are $4.99. Looks like they have pumpkin and feta flatbread and $3.99 for the pumpkin. Or they, oh, they also have beet and goat cheese. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Some fun finds here this week. That's a, I wish that they didn't have stuff in them. And then we never really cover anything over here on the frozen side because we buy such large quantities of frozen food at Costco. But they do have some uh, selections here. Like they do have organic cheese and corn some mixed vegetables, some of the spinach and broccoli, butternut squash. This actually is a really good deal for butternut squash. If you're looking to make like butternut squash soup, so they do have some, some options here. These are something new for Aldi, $4.29. Um, I have this in another video because we made a pit stop here throughout the week. You might have seen it already. That knit crazy cheddar, pumpkin spice, Freaky Franken, Deathly Garlic, and those are all $4.29. I have not tried them yet, but I will let you know what I think. And then over here, oh, it looks like they have one of the cranberry sage left. We don't need that, but for $4.99, we bought a bunch of the apple cranberry harvest. This was really fun to see here the other day. They have the organic probiotic cashew yogurt, unsweetened is the one we picked up for $5.79. This is a very expensive yogurt if you go anywhere. And I'm just happy to see they have other alternatives like that here at Aldi. Okay, so we are gonna pick up some of the white cheddar cheese and the Colby Jack. You probably see me buy this every single week. This is one of those items I buy every time I come in here. I, mean, I think I'm only gonna get like two of each this week. So, we're just gonna get two and two. We can always come back and get more if we need it. Um, but the kids love it. So, two Colby Jack and two white cheddar. Hi, baby. You eating a Lara bar, a little snack. Did you get a pumpkin? And look, you can carve it. See, this will scoop at all the seeds. So you can make like shapes and designs on it, kind of like this one. Can Isn't that cool? You can make faces it. on your pumpkin. You look, if you have a piece of paper and you can trace it, you can see you cut it out. So happy that Ollie has these options. And they're keeping prices down, which is crazy. Crazy. Oh, one of the things we saw here, you have the organic string cheese, you have the other string cheese from Aldi. Now, why would I say choose the organic string cheese and not the cheaper one? The cows are fed a GMO diet, and the organic string cheese comes from cows not fed with GMO feed. So you're paying more because the cows are fed completely different. So I would absolutely, if you can afford it, choose the organic over the conventional. Okay, let's pick up some bread. Okay, which one do you like better? I like the green tastic. The green tastic. We only have two. Okay. 
So we'll do two of the green tastic and then one of the seed tastic. How about that? Yes, my love. The Bella Goose. Well, they're closed, but you have to go all the way downtown for Bella Goose. <laughs> I know. They're closed for a couple days. That's okay. Are you popping bags? Okay, so we didn't really need a lot on our list today. This was all not on my list, and this is like on my list. Okay, walking over by the produce. So over here, we're gonna grab some of the mini cucumbers. Love the non, these are non-GMO. I love the mini cucumbers in here. Like absolutely love them. They're so delicious. Cecilia, Cecilia, would you like mini cucumbers? You love these, don't you? Are those well, some of your favorites? These are mine. Those are all yours? Yes. You're not going to share them? <laughs> no? Mm -hmm. Eat all of them. You can't eat all the cucumbers. So I can't have one? No. So Larry. Larry the cucumber. Do you know your daddy's name is Larry? What's mommy's name? Mom's <laughs> real name is Pam. She's trying to process. <laughs> okay, so we don't need anything down here. This looks good. Keto cauliflower and cheese. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. I'm checking out the ingredients. Oh, there's that sunflower oil and MSG. You think they would leave like the MSG out? They knowing what it does to some people. Ooh, that looks delicious. Creamy macaroni with real cheddar and American cheese. It's probably yum. Do you know what? You guys are not gonna believe this because you guys know the way I eat. My favorite macaroni and cheese, like, well, it used to be. I love, have you ever been to Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel is like my favorite. It's a weakness. So when we were in the military, we were down south and there's Cracker Barrels like everywhere. And we ate there all the time. All the time. Love Cracker Barrel. I've been there. I was there like a few months ago though. And I noticed that it's not the same. Have you noticed that? Maybe it's just the ones up by us. Eventually I'm going to try one of these pizzas because everyone keeps saying you need to try the pizza. Ooh, this is 50% off. I wonder why. Are they trying to tell me I need to buy this? Is 50% off. Okay, one of the things I wanted to share with you um, is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is so incredibly good for you, but when you're looking for a good apple cider vinegar, you want it to have the mother in it. You're already seeing the ones here at Aldi do not have the mother in it at all. I'm not seeing anything, and so that's really unfortunate. Unfiltered, gluten-free, unpasteurized. The one we use all the time is Bragg's. If you're looking for a good one, it's Bragg's. Super, super good. Bragg's used to be like $4 for this size, and now it's like, gosh, like $8? So expensive. I wish the mother was in that one. I'll do some research and let you know. So I thought that was kind of cool that was here. Okay, avocados. We actually don't need very many. We have a bunch at home right now. They're still 69 cents. They haven't changed the price. So we're gonna get, we'll get four avocados. Then we're gonna get some more of those organic honey crisp apples. We cannot get enough of them to 39 a pound. I'm gonna get five more bags. We need two more bags of these. They cost a little bit more, but they're so good. And they won't be here forever. Do you need one more? Yes, one more would be good. Now that you have my sweater, do you feel better? Yeah. Looks a little big on you. Come on. Oh my, what are you doing? Do She's working on it. All I need now, I think, is zucchini, and we're gonna be on our way. I don't think I need anything else, but I think we passed the zucchini. I think it's this oh, way. Oh, did we? We sure did. Oh, yeah, that's okay. It's over here. Okay, $1.99 for the zucchini. Perfect. This one bag. And we don't need anything. I think we're good. I didn't need very much this week, but if you've never seen any of my videos, I can kind of go over a couple things I buy in this area. We do like the organic marinara here for $1.99. We buy that a lot. They do have a lot of great pasta selections for $1.89 or the penne or rotini for $2.69. This is something that we've never had before but they have like the hearts of palm here for $2.89, which is a really good deal. Looks wonderful, but I've never had that. Maybe it's really good. And then I don't really buy much of anything over here. They do have a really great variety of like applesauce. We have plenty of this sauerkraut, $1.39 for the sauerkraut, such a good deal here. I don't need any beans this week, um, but they have you covered on 
pinto beans, dark beans, black beans. Black beans are only 99 cents per can. That's a great price. And then the pinto and the kidney are $1.16. And I really don't buy a lot of the canned fruit here because of things, let me just show you, because of things like this. So this is $1.19. You think, oh, they're pears. Okay. They're not non-GMO, first of all. And then what they do is they put in corn syrup. You see that? Corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. You don't want that in your system at all. Even if you go down to something in like extra light syrup, you're like, well, I'll go to the extra light syrup. Peaches, water, and sugar. Peaches are sweet on their own, but they add seven grams of added sugars for total amount of 15 grams of sugar so you just have to be really careful and peaches also should be organic i'm just saying this is why i don't buy these things so we just eat the fruit in its natural form i'm placing my order today with azure i know a lot of you have been waiting for that haul and so this is the month that i'm taking care of that so that video will be out sometime in october i have to have time to go pick up my order edit my video all that fun stuff i do like they have the organic diced tomatoes here for $1.25. They're just organic diced tomatoes. Nothing crazy about that if you need diced tomatoes. Uh, my kids do not like chunky tomatoes, so I try not to use chunky tomatoes. Are you guys ready? I think we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. They do have their charcuterie shop. Those crackers are excellent. Oh, look at, they have grilled crostitis. And if you guys saw that video, we made our own. We are going to check out and see all the things we have in our cart. Next part of the video or at the end of this video, I'll lay everything out for you. And you'll see everything that we actually made decisions on. What are we keeping? What are we not keeping? Okay, that is a wrap. We're at the grand total. Oops. Wait, we're already checking things. <laughs> she wants to scan it. Go ahead, baby girl. Very good. There you go. That is a wrap. This way. Oh, very good. Tori is loading up everything. And the girls are all scanning. So we got a grand total of 188. Not bad considering we got a lot of extra stuff. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna load up and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Okay, so I laid everything out on the table now that we're home, but I just wanna show you a few of the things. So I'm gonna start over here. And the first thing was the ankle wrist weights even if i'm just walking around my house just doing my everyday thing like recording and homeschooling cleaning cooking i think it's going to be beneficial to even have some of these weights on my ankles to see it gives some extra strength but i wanted to open them up and show you what they look like Ooh, these look really nice okay so here's the first one now this is a set of two they are about 1.1 pounds each so increase the difficulty of training exercise with your own body weight easy to use as a wristlet or as ankles adjustable velcro fastener with reflective strap they have this reflective part right here i like that they're 1.1 pounds because then they're not super heavy that i couldn't wear them around the house during the day okay next up we bought the hand grip strengthener if you turn it around it says improves grip strength and strengthens your forearm efficient strength training resistance adjustable from 11 to 44 pounds practical hand design ideal for when you're on the go so let's open these up so it comes with user manual. So I'm guessing this is the dial here that makes it tighter. Right now, I'm pretty sure I'm on the less amount. If I make it tighter, they're saying this is 44 pounds. Ooh, that's nice. These are nice. I'm really excited to use these. We also got the kettlebell. This is an adjustable kettlebell, which I loved. So the max weight is 12 pounds. So it goes from five pounds all the way up to 12 pounds. So, Excited to use that. My kids love Legos, absolutely love them. So when I saw the Halloween cat and mouse and I saw the wintertime polar bears, I knew this would be a really great gift for my kids. I cannot wait to give this to them. So I got a carving set. I got this one because I like the designs on the back. I thought that'd be fun for the kids. Really simple, the tape, apply, carve, display. So I thought that'd be fun. I got this really nice ladies pullover for when I'm doing all my workouts. It's it rather cold in the house and then when I'm out taking walks I wanted like something long sleeve like this and I got a large I'll let you know what I think once I 
try it on. And then the socks. I had to get the socks. That was a reasonable price. Way to go Aldi's. We got a pair for my husband that he's already opened up. So I actually bought four pair. These have little ghost bats in the hands. And then there's the other pair that has like the pumpkin face. We got this for my one daughter who loves her pumpkin lattes. And the other one is like little pumpkins. And then the last pair, they have fall leaves. And this didn't really make much sense. But then we have the holly berries, um, which is more Christmas. We got four jars of the pumpkin squash pasta sauce to make pasta for the kiddos with some fresh garlic bread and a side salad for dinner. We saw these sweet cars. We decided to pick these up. The cars at Aldi I think are really nice. I just like the look of their cards. They're simple. The price is right. And we love sending cards to grandmas and family members that are just not near us. And it just says, wishing you a spectacular fall season. Moving over here, I went ahead and bought five more bag of the Honeycrisp apples. I cannot believe how inexpensive these are. They're super Super sweet and very, very delicious. I do have a um, restock veggie and fruit cart video I'm going to be working on. And I won't put it in this video because this video is getting kind of long. Okay, back here we got the, the mini cucumbers. My kids love them for snacking. We did end up buying the avocados for avocado toast and all that good stuff. I did buy them a little on the harder side because we already have avocados we need to eat first. So I wanted some firm ones to get us through the end of the week week two of the blueberries they did not have the blackberries they're out of them and we're doing a fall fruit salad and i didn't buy this in this haul but we did end up buying the pumpkin spice and the franken sage derby cheese so we're going to cut these up and i'm going to share with you what we think about these we'll have the kids sample them and try them just to see if they're good or not but we'll be the guinea pigs i've never had these before next up oh and we bought this if you saw my last video, um, it was what we ate in a day. It was a full length video. We even stopped at Aldi in that video. We went on a date night. The kids took over the kitchen. It was a super sweet video. I'll put that video down below for you. Let me know what you think. This is an organic probiotic cashew milk yogurt unsweetened. I like to buy my yogurts unsweetened because then we're keeping all that good pre and probiotic cultures. When you add sugar, you end up killing off the probiotics. You can always add some honey, you can add some fruit, things like that. I don't ever recommend adding sugar to your yogurt. It just kind of defeats the purpose of eating the yogurt to begin with. Moving forward over here, I did pick up some bread. Hello, Simba. Hello, baby. Um, so three loaves of bread for sandwiches, some cheese again for sandwiches, charcuterie board, things like that. Just a cheddar and a Colby Jack. I do prefer this over the conventional cheese because these cows are being given an organic diet instead of a conventional diet. Hello, my little fur baby boy. You should not be on my table. We do have the grapes. For the fall salad, we're also going to put some pineapple in there and some apples. I will share that recipe, of course, with you. And then baby arugula salad with spinach. Love this blend. And then the spring mix. So this was my haul. I did need a whole bunch this week because I'm going to Trader Joe's. Thanks for watching this video. Drop your feedback and comments down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.